So it is, it is worth always uh, kind of having a, um, a reflexive relationship to, to what one's doing. And what, what, he's, what he's saying is praxis is this uh, idea of the avant It's tied up with the idea of the avant-garde. It's tied up with a particular form of production. Uh, uh, and, and, it, and actually, in, in relation to an idea of the studio, um, there have been all kinds of practices, uh, practices that have sort of left the studio behind. So there's the, the, you know, I remember reading about Pierre Huyg sort of just wanting to operate within the hotel room, which is a very beautiful notion of the international artist that just moves nomadically from one show to another. And there's this sense of just uh, calling upon people to produce his, his work. And, and, and the emphasis is on uh, will, which is a very different idea that poesis might have. Uh, which is an idea of production into presence. Uh, and, it, and it's a space of uh, working that is before the will occurs. So it's an idea of a relationship to thought, of not knowing, perhaps, or, or allowing a, 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 a um, 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 an idea of a, a kind of a reflective uh, critical space that isn't so much to do with uh, will. Um, and uh, uh, in that sense, there's also an idea of inaction, as well as not knowing. I, one of the things about Didi Huberman and the, the Fra Angelico is he, he's saying that there, there should be, in art history, a space for not knowing. That instead of trying to always pin things down, in, instead of always to, to make things readable or, or, or legible, uh, and uh, in terms of definition, there should be a, a space where one is unable to... to to approach a, a work, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a, should be a, a a piece about approaching a work without knowing what it is, uh, and uh, um, uh, but that's also a space of attention. It's not like a, a space of ignorance. It's a space of attention, and and in a sense, this idea of poesis also allows for the studio space to to suddenly have um, a, a different kind of potential that's worth arguing for, um, uh, even though studio space is under threat um, and uh, it's both under threat ideologically and, and just economically and everything else um, so so but it, as well as not knowing there is a sense of not doing that that, that that's also important there's a kind of like a uh, a moment of um, uh, resistance or inaction um, and uh, this this uh, uh, recent show was in a sense thinking about painting without painting. So this this was a this was a, a tabletop cover, just a covering over the tabletop over the summer, and um, there's coffee stains and there's uh, bits of uh, things that land um, that are much better than I could have done. And and so in terms of um, recognizing a kind of a relationship to a work where it, it, it um, happens within a space over time. Um, and then I um, suggesting or proposing it as a painting, um, and uh, uh, again a kind of a, a, a sense of make, thinking around an idea of a monochrome and a model and uh, and a painting and the absence of painting. This is my most romantic work with a, a picture hook with a heart, um, and that's it. I'm going to stop now. Oh, I, well, I, uh, what's the time? Is it, is it, is it, is it okay? I, I, um, I'm just going to, I tried to um, download some images and I, of a, a recent show, uh, which I failed to do, but, so I've got them just as JPEGs. But this is um, a recent show that's happening at the moment in um, this uh, space in Vesivier in France, um, which is uh, designed by Aldo Rossi, um, and it's a, it's a kind of, like, he's very much known as a sort of postmodern architect, but I kind of think he's not. Uh, but it was a sort of trying to rethink the relationship between um, uh, the, the studio and what it is to actually bring work into a space of exhibition, um, a space of visibility, um, and the demand on the work, uh, and how, how uh, that itself is also problematic because and I think everybody has that sense of you know what, what happens when you just bring work in here it comes out of uh, the place where one's working uh, and it somehow has to perform in a different way and so these works were works ha to do with the relationship between thinking of the studio space and also thinking about the space 
uh, that they're being shown in. And some works were made in the space, like the inflatable uh, mirrors the curve of the, of the ceiling uh, roof. Um, there were all these, uh, I shut off all the window because the windows, uh, in a sense, were bringing in daylight in a way that was so friendly, but I felt what was distinctive about the space was a kind of, it's almost like a church. And uh, I left one neon at one end and one at the other end and, and took all the other neons down because they weren't part of Rossi's um, design. Uh, but then uh, left uh, the ne uh, a neon as a, as a gesture. Um, and uh, uh, then, then um, had this kind of like silver leaf rubbing of my studio floor, uh, which is a kind of like, a, again, a very simple gesture of recording one space and bringing it into another, but um, with, a, with an idea of value, you know, like bringing an idea of luxury and, and because it's so, Rossi's space is so elegant, it's got this marble flooring, it was made as a, as a, a gallery for contemporary art, but it, and it is in the early 90s, but they had, the, had this extraordinary idea of what um, artwork should, you know, how an artwork should kind of fight with his space. But, but it was a, a kind of an idea of bringing um, the studio floor into it, very literal in, in one sense. Um, but I think making literal moves is, is kind of also important sometimes. Um, and here's a painting uh, upside down, sorry. Um, um, of, of, of a remnant of a, of a painting, in a way, uh, which again, I, the, another painting exists somewhere else in the exhibition that this is uh, the remnant of, uh, you know, the, the paper underneath it that I felt, again, was perhaps more beautiful uh, than the painting, um, which also hung at hung the back of the room. Um, I'll leave it there.